And that's actually how I found um, my first three deals. So I know when I first talked to you, um, I sent you the photo of two checks. But so as of today, I actually have actually closed on three deals. So it's actually on the dot, 35,000 um, in total. Which, and it's, and it, all of those have actually been through SMS text blast. Um, so I, I, I had heard about SMS. Uh, I'm trying to remember what video. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure if it was like, um, I'm not sure if it was Pace. I don't think it was Pace more. It was, it was a video I was just watching where there was a guy who just, um, he just, he ended up landing a really awesome deal, uh, made a chunk of money. And he said how he did it all just through a text message. And I was like, what? So he started talking about this text messaging software that he was using. And, um, I, I did the free trial of that. I, w I did text, uh, text magic, um, as well. And, uh, I just kind of started playing around with skip tracing lists and putting them through the SMS and really understanding and learning how to approach, um, you know, my text messages with these homeowners. So um, tr changing up my, my approach, instead of just saying, Hey, I'm an investor looking to buy your property. I would say things like, Hey, my wife and I were looking to add about two or three more properties to our portfolio in the area. And we're interested in, and we're, um, and we were wondering if you were interested in selling your property, I would say things like my wife and I, you know, um, and things like that. So that's actually how I found the first deal was through SMS blast. Okay. Boom. All right. So, uh, let's go into, uh, so are these all three separate, um, are these all three separate owners on, uh, these deals? Yes. Yes. These are all three different, um, owners and, uh, the actual program, um, just to be more specific, cause I said text magic. And then the first one, I couldn't remember what it was cause I was testing, you know, which one was the best. I actually, um, found those deals through batch skip. So batch skip tracing um, was actually the, the the software that I used for the texting, um, just because it was compliant. Because you have to individually click each one. Um, I know some of the others one they just blast all the text out, and we you know, every, you know obviously it seems awesome to just get all your text messages out in one click. Um, but I just want to you know if I'm going to do yeah, this, that's the only way you can stay compliant. Um, yeah, right. I'm, an, I'm an affiliate of uh, of Batch Leads. Um, people yeah. can access mine yeah through text text to flip.com which um is on the screen right now or whatever but um but but yeah that's basically how it's uh done you have to literally sit there and press each one of them boom 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 if yeah. it's 50 you're going to press the button 50 times or 100 mm -hmm. or 200 or whatever yeah. but in reality it works a lot better when you versus a blast because most not most but a lot of people are going to respond you can't really send that many Right. So the, re the responses you're going to get back. So 50 or 100 is is more than enough in most days or whatever. Yeah. Sometimes you may have to send more because there's so much follow up that needs to be done when, when you're using that particular method. But OK, so let's just go into that uh, just exactly into that first deal. And number one, uh, how did you know it was a deal and your process once you figured it out? you know, I guess through the initial phone conversation that it was a deal, your very first one. Yeah. So the very first one, um, the very, so this is actually, this is, this is so funny. And I, I apologize. This honestly has been really crazy with dealing with all three of these properties and just like everything happened in one week. So, um, so let me backtrack. The second deal was through SMS, but the first one was actually through driving for dollars. So that I actually drove for dollars and found the first deal. Um, it was a property that was about five minutes from downtown um, and it looked completely vacant. It was just distressed. And I ended up skip tracing the owner. Um, his name was Joe and got on the call and actually called him. And what ended up happening is um, I knew it was a deal because, and at this point I was already using PropStream. So I figured, you know, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and sign up for PropStream. Um, I know it's like $99 a month, but there's, you know, I just know that if anything, I'll just spend a hundred dollars this first month. That'll give me two months span because obviously if you spend a you know, hundred dollars the first, I think actually it was like a free certain amount of days the first time. But if I spend, you know, 99, there's, you know, that still covers me to the second month. So I have about 60 days before I need to, you know, obviously it'll draft another, another $100. I, I feel good. I, you know, I felt confident that I, I would be able to close at least one deal within 60 days. Um, so I, I was already using prop stream and how I knew it was a deal is I had already ran the numbers before I got on a call with him. So I knew I needed to be, um, around like, um, I think that first deal, I knew I needed to be around like 75, um, 70 to 75. And I know, you know, most people probably will hate me for this. Um, because when I called, he actually, he actually, 
on the house. Um, so you right away, like, oh, just did the calculations, and I know. Well, well, back up your 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 connection faded. You said so when you actually called. Yeah, so when I called him and I and I and I spoke with him and I just said, hey, Joe, you know, I'm, you know, I'm gonna, you know, my wife and I were actually interested in buying properties in the area, like adding two or more, you know, two or three more properties to our portfolio. Um, you know, we came across your property. And we were interested if you were, you know, wanting to sell the property. And um, he he just responded. He said he'll take seventy thousand. He wanted seventy thousand, and I knew that wasn't completely off. I knew I wanted to get that number down um, because if I wanted to get like a, you know. Ten thousand dollar wholesale or something like that. I needed to be more so around um, sixty thousand. Obviously, if, you know, if 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 I want to wholesale it to seventy, um, but he didn't want to go any lower than seventy. So, um, but I knew there was. I just knew I wasn't going to be able to wholesale it after seventy because the value of it it was going to be like I said. I needed to be closer to sixty um, or fifty five. So um, I had initially had that conversation with him about having taken a look at the property and the value of the property, what was needed to be done. And um, he was just so set on 70, just that number, 70,000. Um, so what I had told him, um, and I hadn't actually like walked through the property. I, had, I just saw it through driving through dollars. Um, so what I said is, I said, okay, you know, 70 may work. 70 may work, but I, I, I have to actually be able to walk through the property um, to see if that number will actually work um, in terms of us buying the property. Um, and uh, before I actually walk through a property, I always go under contract you know, because I don't want to spend time going to properties, going to properties, and, you know, we can't agree on a number that actually works. So let's go ahead and go under contract for this 70, um, and uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll walk through the property and, I'll, you know, and obviously have that conversation with him about, you know, what the repair costs and things would be. So um, we agreed um, at 70, but I had already set the expectation for him that that may not be the exact number. Um, that, you know, we're obviously going to look through the repair costs. That number was based off of just, you know, understanding the size of the property, um, if it was like a gut rehab and things like that. So when I walked to the property or when I got under contract and then I went to the property, I mean, man, it was actually going to need a lot more work than that. It was going to lead, it was going to need a lot more work than the repairs than I had originally um, calculated for. Um, but I think what helped is I had already started uh, marketing that, pro that property out. So I had already marketed on Facebook, um, in a Facebook group. I was already sending that property out. And what was crazy is this was my first property that I actually like, you know, marketed out on Facebook. And there was a list of just buyers that were, I mean, several people were just sending me their emails like, you know, hey, I'm interested because it was five minutes from downtown. So downtown Greenville is like a, an amazing, you know, you know, downtown Greenville.